Does China care if there's a diplomatic boycott, one which Canada could potentially join? For Olympic Games, it's a venue for athletes from all over the world to compete, you know, and also to enjoy their competition. And also it's a dream for them once in four years time, and also for those winter sports lovers. So those things should not be politicized because it is against the Olympic spirit. So for the uh, G20 leaders, when they met in Rome a few weeks ago, uh, during their final declaration, they mentioned that they look to the upcoming Beijing Winter Olympic and the Paralympic Games you know, as a platform for athletes from all over the world to compete and also to demonstrate the resilience of the humankind. You know. So I think that's important. And Canada and the United States also are members of the G20. So we do hope that they will honor their pledge. And uh, I think uh, people uh, actually around the world uh, have a lot of expectation for the upcoming game. And uh, I'm confident that with the joint efforts on all the sides, that we are going to be uh, very much, you know, in the end to have a streamlined, safe and splendid games. And uh, we do hope and we welcome all the athletes from all over the world, including Canada, to take part in the event. And uh, we do hope that they will have very wonderful performance. Mr. Ambassador, I appreciate that. Um, uh, I, I believe that at the heart of the, the, the U.S. Uh, uh, diplomatic boycott was more of a symbolic one where, as an example, uh, you know, senior, senior politicians or world leaders would actually, you know, uh, appear at the games, not so much a boycott of the, of, of the games by the athletes. So this, this symbolic boycott that uh, President Biden is speaking of, uh, it, it, does it matter to China whether this goes through or not? Any attempt to politicize the issue, the event, I think it's against the expectation of the people around the world, and uh, will certainly, uh, you know, be a failure. You know, so we—that's my uh, observation.